Okay, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite Italian style salads. If you're like me, you bring your stuff home, your greens and all of that, get them washed so they're ready for you when you wanna use them. Okay, so I've got some romaine lettuce. I've got some green lettuce that I had in the fridge that I used for a previous salad. Don't like to waste anything. I've got some radicchio. This is delicious. It's a little bit of a bitter green, but it's actually it's red, but delicious. Endives, if you've never tried these, you need to put them on your shopping list. They're crunchy, they're so good in a salad. And fennel. I've already kind of cut this for you and prepped one side, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on the other. And I've got some fennel fronds that are gonna go in it. And these are just canned mandarin orange. So it's just a simple but delicious salad. Okay, so I'm just gonna get these greens kind of chopped up and they're gonna go in. Whoops, there we go. And I'm just gonna kind of break them up into little smaller pieces as I go. Like this, you don't get a big honking piece of lettuce hanging out, right? Okay. I love salads, and I know we probably all should eat a little bit more of them. And this is just a nice take on something, you know, for a little bit different, right? I think a lot of Americans are not used to some of these greens, so this is more of like an Italian influence. I love fennel, but I kind of grew up on the anise flavor. My grandmother used to make amazing Italian cookies, and I don't really know what they're called, but they have like an anise licorice flavor to them and then also a, a good, an anise icing on them. They're amazing. I used to eat them to make myself sick. But, okay. So, I'm gonna get this all in there. You could also add like some purple onion if you had it, even some scallions. I just kinda don't feel like doing that today. So, I don't, we're just gonna get the lettuces in. So again, radicchio, so good. Again, it's a little bitter, so it might be something you kind of need to get accustomed to, but I just think it adds so much flavor to your salads. Just a little different, and it's so beautiful, right? Got that pretty purple color going in. So I'm just gonna chop these endives up. So great. I love the flavor of them. You just wanna go all the way down to that core. Just leave that, leave that out. And again, these are pretty small, so I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them in big rings like that. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna cut off this end here, and then just cut. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes I don't know, like you know, you, but sometimes I can get bored with salad, and so I find just kind of mixing up the textures and the different lettuces can really, you know, be a little inspiring, right? Something new, wake up those taste buds, feel good about yourself. So fennel is so good. I just absolutely adore it. It just has that, that licorice flavor, but it's like crispy, it's crunchy, it's also water, it's got a little water content to it. It's just fabulous. Actually, I just introduced my sister-in-law, Charlene, to it. We were just in Florida recently visiting uh, for the holidays. And she was like, what is that in your salad? So I explained it to her. She's like, I don't know if I'm going to like that. I said, well, you know, that's okay. I'm like, just give it a try. Of course, later on in the evening, I completely forgot that we had had that conversation. And she comes to me and she goes, I like it. I was like, fantastic. Another convert. Okay, so fennel going in. And it's supposed to be really good for your digestion too. So this is the other half. Um, I was gonna sh kind of show you how I clean it up. So just be careful of your fingers. See this little, this little core here? I'm just gonna go in and just make like a little V there. And I'm just gonna remove that part. You also wanna take off these. They're a little bit more tough, the outer, the outer leaves there. Actually, this whole, there we go. Yeah. Okay. And again, so I'm just going to chop this up nice and thin. Kind of looks like a big celery when you, when you cut it up. But so good. Okay. Going in. It's looking beautiful already. Okay. So I'm just going to give these fennel fronds or on the end, just a little rough chop. And I'm going to toss them on top. Just gonna add a little bit more flavor in there. Pop 
Plus they look beautiful, right? They say we kind of eat with our eyes too, right? So something looks pretty, usually it's gonna taste nice, right? All right, how beautiful is that? I'm gonna give it just a little toss before I put the oranges on. Get these lettuces all mixed up and that fennel in there. Gorgeous. Who would wanna eat that, right? Okay, orange is gonna go on top. Kind of spread them out, make them look pretty there. Wow, I hope you've enjoyed this out. I hope you gave it a, a try. If you've never had these different lettuces, please, please grab them. Just take, maybe try one at a time. See if you like them, but I think you will. Okay, orange is going on top. Isn't that a beauty, right? Fast food, mm -mm, not in this kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna get myself a little bowl. I'm gonna give it a taste for you. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little taste for you. So I'm gonna actually toss this with my, this is my sweet Italian vinaigrette, and we're gonna put it in a link just above for you so you can, you can make this. It's so fast and so easy. Even though I do always have some bottle dressings on hand, I really like to make my own. I just have those bottle dressings just for in case of a pinch, right? So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this on and I'm gonna give it all a taste. It's so good. Okay, I wanna get a little piece of everything. I wanna try to get a little piece of the fennel, a little bit of the radicchio. Yeah, definitely an orange, no doubt. Okay. Okay. Mm, that is so good. I love the crunch from those vegetables, the fennel and the endive especially give you that really nice crunch to get that what it's delicious. Hope you make this for your friends and your family. If you like these kind of recipes and you find these helpful, please subscribe and then don't forget to click that bell because you'll be notified for our next video. All right, enjoy.